the second I'm gonna leave those up there so on YouTube when you're watching I'm giving a list get my hands right I'm getting the list of all of the laws so that way you can write them down the second law concerning wisdom is actually the law of wisdom Proverbs 3 verse 13 through 15 reads blessed are those who find wisdom those who gain understanding for she is more profitable than silver and yields better return than gold she is more precious than rubies nothing you desire can compare with her wisdom is the foundation on which success is achieved and, and i'm not talking about intellectual wisdom like the ability to to figure out abstract equations and be able to pronounce uh supercalifragilisticexpialidocious or be able to spell that no but as the capacity to adapt while searching for happiness wisdom should be constant in everyone's life and involve and it involves three degrees or levels the first degree the first degree of wisdom is having wisdom in general the necessary knowledge good sense and information to make the right decision right decisions right choices have the right attitudes in life the second degree of wisdom is a professional competence relating specifically to knowledge of how to work which requires intelligence and skills the third degree of wisdom involves in-depth knowledge at the intimate level of the necessary areas and people required for success james 3 13 says who is wise and understanding among you let them show it by their good life by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom the first is the most important it's general knowledge it's general wisdom like our decision making the happiness the balance that we're making like the values are like the guardrails on a freeway to help us to keep you on the road y'all ever been driving at night y'all been driving y'all haven't been driving on a highway at night in the mountains i have I, it's scary it's very scary me and my mama used to go riding all the time up and down the east coast but those guardrails like lights flashing they don't have their lights but they, the light hits it or the moon hits it if you're driving at night right and, and it hits it the lights hit it you can see it your lights on your car hit it so you can see it while you're driving so it's not like oh my gosh there's the side of the mountain we're gonna just fall off no you have that guide rail that is guiding you along the mountain you feel safer it's that wisdom that wisdom is talking to you all the time the second degree of wisdom is knowing how to work. Matthew 9, 13 says, but go and learn. But go and learn. But go. But go. That means you got to get up. That means you can't just be on social media all the time. That means you can't just be sitting around smoking, drinking, uh, just twiddling your fingers, playing video games all day. But go. And when you go, don't just, don't just be like a boxer beating aimlessly in the air. Go and learn. It takes wisdom to go. It takes a second degree of wisdom to learn. I asked this in the beginning, how do you define success? The way that you define success in every area or in different areas of your life is what's gonna help you determine what you need to learn. So I'm gonna give you two quick things that you can learn. You can learn how to work intelligently and you need to learn how to work skillfully. Intelligence plus skill yields results. Our goal should be finishing a useful task in the most efficient 
and productive manner possible. It's okay to slow down and think, y'all. And what does the Bible say about being a skilled worker? I'm gonna give you a few renderings of Proverbs 22, 29. Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low ranks. Do you see people who work skillfully? They will work for kings, but do not work for lowly people. Someone who works well and is skillful, clever, and dedicated will quickly reach the top. So I ask you, who do you want to work for? A king or a peasant? Don't, don't, nah, stop it. Don't try to get all deep with me. Ain't none of y'all trying to go work for a peasant. Peasant ain't paying. And they are paying. You're not getting the full benefit that you're going to get from the king. The king got it all. He knows that you're struggling. And again, we're not talking about a greedy king. We're talking about a real king. All right? We ain't talking about no Putin. We're talking about a real king. The one that knows that he has, he has a responsibility to take care of his kingdom. The third degree of wisdom is in-depth knowledge. Proverbs 27, 23 reads, be sure you know the conditions of your flock. Give careful attention to your herd. When talking about knowledge, the condition of the flocks, the Bible is referring to how much you know about someone or something else, a degree of knowledge. For those who's ever been in a relationship or currently in a relationship, your man or your woman, your child, your parent, they come into the house, they don't say anything. But you know how they feel, you know how they day went. There is, there's a level of knowledge, deep knowledge, that when you're in tune to your flock, you know if your flock is hungry, if they're sad, if they're disturbed, whatever it may be, you know because you're paying attention to your flock. Proverbs 20, 15 reads, gold there is and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. 